Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here, Peterson Electric. I think this is the third part of it, fourth part of this video for my lights flickering in my home that I thought was a microwave. This is my third day here. Um, my second day was very productive. I found the issue um, and I want to explain that to you. First of all, we're going to have to rent this little beast and uh, got this picked up for the day. These work really well, these mini X's. So this is what happened. First day I dug my hole over here, as I explained, I'll show you real quick. There's no damage coming out of here, out of the house. They're gonna flip, fix this preliminary drain. I'm gonna put half of this dirt back in and leave it for them. Um, I had to do that by hand because it was so close to the house. Again, we ran the neutral here, just separate with some number six to get them by to make that volt uh, that um, neutral uh, have a little bit more continuity again the neutral wasn't completely out but it was starting to erode right here i dug yesterday and this is my pit i already showed you a video so what i did is this this is just number two ord good for 100 amps on a house why is it long? Because I didn't know if I need it long enough to go to the garage, and I use it as my temp wire. Again, there are no children at this house. He's um, retired, and there's really no one here but him. So I wasn't worried about anybody getting hurt. As far as the, the ditch, yeah, I covered it up at night. Anyways, we got some pipe three inch to fix this preliminary drain. Now what I did is I just simply got the neutral that's going to the house and I bypassed to right here because I wanted to see was the house bad so I hooked up from there to the meter it was good I hooked up from the meter coming to here to the house to jump this 25 foot and it was good then when I hooked up this line here to here and then I connected it this between here and here is bad on the neutral Again, the ungrounded hot conductors at 240 are fine, but the neutral is bad. And it was interesting on my Omega meter, when I tested with the Omega and I took the neutral off in this cabinet, from here to here it was good. From here to here to ground it was bad. And then from that hook over you can see for ground to the house was good. So somewhere in here it's gone bad. But the biggest thing is we did not want to have to dig deep right here near the transformer as I've shown you we did not want to have to take out the cement or go you know wreck any more um, grass and, and bark going to the home so really what he wanted me to do was to dig three spot holes and I really I agreed with him and this is kind of my idea as well and when we put our heads together me and the homeowner we kind of said this is probably our best bet so today I've ordered pipe to go between here and I'll put in two junction boxes These are rated for outdoor and electric. They are rated for 500 pounds for one of those tractors to go over. They're not rated for 20,000 pounds that you would have a traffic area. So they'll do just fine. And one will sit right here in the preliminary of this drain area and it'll be surfaced to the rock. And the other one by the end of today will be sitting right, probably close to the edge of this grass for him. Because as you can see, I wish I would have cut this one a little further this way, and I did not. I didn't know this was bad. But I'll make it work any which way because as it comes up, even if I have to dig out, I may dig out this area right here, shove it down. In fact, that's what I'm going to do, and I'll push down the dirt to fill that. And then I'll put the box right here, and I'll gain a little bit more wire right here. But what I'm going to end up doing is turning off power at this disconnect, cutting my feeders, my hots here longer so they fold up better. And then I am going to um, cut out the grass and then I'll take that mini X at 18 inches and scoop. And this is good. We did not wreck his one inch feed on his sprinkler line going over to the head I buried. And that comes all the way around and his valves over there. So it's a little bit bigger on this side versus going out that way. So he's hoping we didn't wreck anything. So we've been really fortunate about all this. I use my tarp to try to get the dirt if I can throw it in or keep the grass a little bit from getting destroyed. Um, so 
This again is getting into my third day today. By the time I'm done with this job, it'll be three and a half days to get this fixed. Would I have liked to retrench the whole thing and put it in two inch PVC schedule 40? All day long. But I don't always have that option. It costs a lot more time and money. Um, so anyways, I hope that'll help you out. Guys, let me know if you have any questions and I'll show you my last fifth video to this. Thanks.